everyone, my name is Laura and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current beauty favourites. I feel like I haven't shared one of these with you guys in a while now, so I thought that's what I'll do with you guys today. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start off with skincare. I've got two things and I promise you they are worth it. So the first product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Alpha H Glycolic Acid. So this is what it looks like here. It's the liquid gold. I only have the small one. This is a 50 mil, but I'll definitely be buying another one once this runs out. I love it so, so much. It does come, so you take the lid off and then there's a second lid and you basically use this to tip it onto your cotton wool round. And I just wipe my face with it. It honestly, you'll wake up and your skin will look so revitalized and refreshed and just so glowy and beautiful. I love it so, so much. Definitely try and get a sample of it if you can. It is a little bit pricey, so definitely try to get the sample first, but it's a product that I really, really like. If you have more sensitive skin, you can dilute it by putting a serum over the top just to kind of dull it down or a moisturizer over the top. I just use it on its own though. It's really, really nice. The next product is from Tarte and it's called the Tarte Brighter Days highlighting moisturizer if it will even focus excuse me this is what it looks like here it just comes in a squeezy tube and you just kind of like squeeze it out it's like a white cream and then you just rub it in and it just gives like the most beautiful like can you see that like the most beautiful luminosity to the skin i wear this um i put on my spf and then i put on this and oh my goodness guys like it makes my skin look so beautiful just lit from within. It's so, so beautiful. So the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation has been my go-to for work. I have it on right now. This is what it looks like after a full day at work. All I've done is like put on some contour and a bit more highlighter because I just filmed my eye look. So this has been on all day and this is what it looks like. I just had to touch up where my blemish is with the next product I'm going to show you. But besides that, this product is great. It's affordable. There's a lot of shades now and it's just overall a very, very beautiful product. This paired with the brighter days. Oh my goodness. Your skin looks so beautiful. You don't need a lot. You can build it up to medium full coverage or you can wear it super light coverage. It really just depends on how much product you use, but it is really, really beautiful and very, very buildable. So the next product that I have to show you, I know I was going to show you when I put on my blemish, but I'll show you that after this one, I promise. I just forgot I had another foundation. So this is the MAC Studio Sculpt. I have mine in the shade NC30, and it is such a beautiful product. It does have SPF 15, which I think is very, very good, and there are a lot of shades in this product. I would say it's very medium coverage. It's great for the summertime because it's not too heavy. It is more of a gel-like formula, and it is really, really beautiful in the skin. I've worn it a few times to special events. I wore it on my one-year anniversary with my boyfriend. I wore it to um, his cousin's kitchen tea. That day was so hot. It was like, I think it was like 36 degrees or something like that. It was so hot. I love this foundation so much. It really does last. I do have normal combination skin and it really just works really, really well with my skin. It doesn't exacerbate the pores. It doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't look too cakey, but it provides enough coverage. I really, really like it. So the next product that I have to show you guys is the Kevin Aquan The Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX08. This is what I've been using to cover up my blemishes. It is honestly so, so, so good. This is what it looks like in the pot. It's seriously so incredibly thick. You need hardly any and it will cover up your blemishes, I promise you. If you have a problem covering up your blemishes or anything like that, or if you just get ones that are hard to for product to adhere to, I'll definitely try that. At least get a sample pot. I think you can buy sample pots for like $3 or something like that. That's what I did when I first started using this and it's really, really, really worth it, trust me. Use the smallest little bit. I know this product is pricey, but you get a lot of product and you need to use so little. So I would highly recommend it. Even if you have dark under eyes, I have two lighter shades to do underneath my eyes and I love it so, so much. For concealer, I've been liking two. This one is one that I owned previously, but I repurchased. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. This is in the shade Light. If you like the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, you'll most probably like this. It's very, very similar. It's got a doe foot applicator. It's a beautiful concealer. I really, really do enjoy it, and it's really, really nice. The other one I've been liking more for every day, it is more affordable as well. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal. 
concealer. It's really, really good. I have the shade 30 and 20 as well. So it really just depends on how fake tanned I am as to which one I use, but I really, really like it. It's very similar to the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. If anybody remembers that, it looks like this. I still love this as well, but I just really haven't been reaching for it as much, but it is still a very good concealer. So the next product I have to show you guys is a highlighter. This is from Jeffree Star. It is in the shade King Tut. I don't know why people say King Tut. Is it King Tut? I'm very sure it's King Tut. But anyway, I've heard a few people say King Tut, so I wasn't too sure and I just really wanted to say Tut. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the highlighter here looks like. It's so gorgeous, if you can see. It's got a star embossed into it and it's honestly the most beautiful product. It doesn't look like I've used a lot, but there is literally 15 grams in this baby. I have a few other Jeffree Star highlighters coming in the mail because I love this one so much. And it's just so huge. Like, this is it compared to MAC. Like, hi. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. It's such a beautiful highlighter. Like, not even joking. I'll swatch it for you guys. Like, one swipe. Like, seriously, are you joking me? It is so beautiful. Like, it's just the most beautiful gold shade of my whole entire life. For mascara, I have this one from Model Co. I don't know if this one's going to zoom in because it's a bit too bright pink, I think. But this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the wand looks like. It's called the lash extend basically i love this mascara because it is a tubular mascara so this is what the brush here looks like i really like it for my lashes personally but i don't think everybody will because mascara is such a personal thing i think but i love it if you get smudging on your lower lashes you need to get this at least for your lower lashes because this is so 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 good i promise you it does not give you smudging under here you don't get any flaking at all it's very very good you go into like even a makeup wipe won't take it off on like a few passes you need to go in the shower it needs to be warm it doesn't work with cold water i've already tried i've been in the pool with it it's like the best of both worlds it's like a washable mascara combined with a waterproof mascara it comes off in tubes it's honestly so nice like it and also when it comes off my lashes my lashes don't feel dry like with some mascaras it's really really nice it's hard to explain if you get smudging or if your lashes don't hold a curl but you don't want to use waterproof waterproof mascara give this one a try even if you only use it as a base and then use another mascara over the top it's really good i highly recommend it i got mine on sale half price for about ten dollars from woolworths when they do half price otherwise it's twenty dollars and that's a lot so wait for it to go on The next product that I want to show you guys is the lip combo that I have on my lips right now. So I've got MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. I feel like everybody has at one stage talked about this lip liner. But I've swatched it on my arm right here. So it's that colour there. And then the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Barbara. Like this lipstick is no joke. That is it there. They just go very, very well together. Like if you like overdrawing your lips... This is a beautiful combo. Even if you don't like overdrawing your lips, it's a beautiful combo, especially if you're a little bit darker, fake tanned like I am, or at least I consider myself dark. I probably am not even dark in the scale of things, but I really like it. I can only wear it when I am super tanned, but I really do enjoy it. It's really, really good. I may as well mention my favorite fake tan because I feel like I've been mentioning, I'm so dark. I've been using a new tan. I'm so dark to everybody and everybody and everybody and everybody. So I thought that I'd tell you guys as well. So I have been using the Latan Uber Dark for all skin tones in the green base. Normally, I don't gravitate towards green base fake tans because I feel like it makes me look a little bit bizarre. It makes, it doesn't like give me color. It just gives me a tint, at least in the past. That's how I felt. But with this one, it's made me this color right here. So this is one coat of the Latan and I've been wearing it for like three or four days now. So I almost need to scrub it off, but I really, really do like it. It doesn't make my skin dry at all. And it just overall feels really, really nice on my skin. It doesn't make my skin feel tight. I love the color that it makes me. Like I love this like kind of orangey, but not too orange color. I feel like it really suits me and my hair. And I just love it. And it's really, really easy to find foundations as well. Cause it's like that tiny bit orange, but it's not too orange where you're like, you know, I must admit it does look more orange on camera than it does in real life, but 
hey, what can you do? I've been really, really loving that fake tan. It's really, really good. I really, really, really do love it. And I cannot say really enough. Oh my God. But yeah. So I got this from, was it Coles or Woolworths? They were doing half price. So I think it was like $12. I'd probably hold out to at least they do a 40% off sale because it always goes on sale. Let's be real, it's a tan. But it's really, really good. You get 200 mils and yeah, just good product. Easy to blend in. It's a foam. It's just really, really good. So that's all I have to show you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below because I'd be more than happy to respond to you guys if you have any questions or anything like that or if you have any video requests, then I'm more than happy to film them in future videos. And yeah, I think that's all for me for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.